Hi, welcome back. This is part three of how to use your designs for more than one thing. Now, we're getting into the production part of this, so I wanna go over a couple things before we actually start making things. Uh, first off, we're gonna be the materials. Uh, we're gonna use a easy print, which is for our t-shirt. Uh, we're going to use a paper with a, an adhesive backing for our sticker. And we are going to use a solvent glossy paper, uh, which is, uh, I don't remember the mill on it, but is a, is a thicker mill for uh, poster and print type quality for our actual poster. So uh, a couple things to note, we use a program called VersaWorks and um, it's through Roland that we get this particular program. So is our Cut Studio. And for the reasons that I explained in other videos, which is uh, we don't go too much into that uh, particular program at the moment, because at the moment, I don't know what software or programs you might be using and it'd be irrelevant to your particular case. But I will explain to you exactly what we do for our sticker and our t-shirt. Uh, they're gonna have what are called cut uh, patterns applied to them, which is the graphic is actually cut out and then it can be applied to something else. Uh, after it's actually printed, then the machine cuts. And we're gonna do all three of these particular items on one machine. This machine is called the Roland BN20. It is a perfect machine for low to medium production. Not a high quantity uh, particular machine here, but great for what we're gonna do. And what we're doing right now is we are expanding our horizons by using one design for more than one thing. We're going to make a poster, t-shirt, and a sticker decal. So let's get into it. Well, as you can see, we are using the Roland BN20 and we're gonna take the reel and load our material into the reel and make sure it's nice and snug. Um, we're also going to load it from the back. Uh, like I said, this is uh, the Roland BN20 and it has multiple uses. Our profile was set for solvent glossy white paper. Um, so that we could print on this particular material. And uh, we actually set our design up to be an 18 by 24 because we are just running this straight from a JPEG. But the JPEG is an 18 by 24 JPEG, so the resolution is going to be nice and crisp. Um, this just makes it easier. I mean, we could run it from other formats like a PDF and a couple others, but uh, a lot of times customers send us things that are just like, JPEG, so we just try to make sure that that JPEG is the right size for printing. Next, we're going to load our material for our sticker, and it is on a paper with an adhesive backing. Um, the good thing about using this kind of material is that you can print more stickers on this material and basically expand your, your profit margin because more people can afford the lower costing stickers than they could a t-shirt or a poster. And the more you sell, the better off you are. Last on our list is going to be uh, our t-shirt design. And this particular material is a vinyl. So the biggest difference between the sticker and the vinyl is the amount of pressure we use to cut it. The sticker we used about 110 to 120. And on the vinyl, we usually want to bump it up to about 125, 130. Um, you want to test cut before you actually hit, you know, run on this. But typically that's going to be about uh, your pressure setting for this. Then uh, we're going to take it and we're just going to move into applying the actual decal to the shirt. Like always, we want to make sure that we uh, preheat our shirt first. Uh, get all the wrinkles out of it and also uh, get the shirt heated up so that the actual graphic will apply without any issues. Uh, and then once we uh, put our actual graphic to the shirt, we are going to peel from the corner to remove the actual cover sheet that, that's protecting it for the moment. And that'll be about it.
Hi, welcome back. Now hold up, I know you're like, hold up, he left out a whole lot of stuff on how things were made. Don't worry, those are coming up in upcoming videos. Today's focus is how to combine different mediums, different things that you can print your artwork on so that you can expand how much money you can possibly make out of one design. So let's take a look. Here we have our t-shirt, finished product, looks decent. We've got our poster. It's okay, not bad, good color. I was pretty happy with the way that the uh, results came on that as far as color matching. And uh, last but not least, our actual sticker. And I'm gonna peel this up for you so that you can actually have a look at the decal. And this is printed on a paper, not a vinyl. Uh, We'll have a whole series on that too, because like I said, they all kind of deserve their own video so that you can understand what you can do with all these different things. But the paper ones are good for sticking on, you know, their locker or their trapper keeper or something like that and the cost is low. So uh, we won't go a whole lot in the cost because those are all in other videos that we're gonna go through. Uh, but what I will say is this, uh, by expanding what you can do with one design you're able to make more money provide a service that can go a little bit broader than somebody who may not want a t-shirt or somebody that doesn't actually have uh, room for a poster and you can still get the same result out of that design which is you're able to sell it so i hope you found what we did here today interesting uh, entertaining and also educational Please hit that subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you again. Please subscribe so that we can blow up this channel. Have a good day.